Hi everybody, uh, welcome to our uh, new video and today uh, we are going to address a very interesting topic and that is a demodulation reference signal for uh, your physical downlink shared channel in NR. We all know that uh, in LTE we have uh, downlink reference signals that uh, the user the user or the mobile uses to actually estimate your channel and see what kind of resources can be allocated and what kind of radio conditions your mobile is in. But in NR, uh, we do not have a cell reference signal. So what we do is we use a demodulation reference signal for the PDSCH. So before we uh, actually transmit the data onto our uh, physical downlink shared channel, we actually transmit a demodulation reference signal. Now these uh, demodulation uh, reference signal are allocated particular resource elements on your frame structure grid and they can be on either symbol 2, symbol 3 or they can be on the first symbol of your particular PDSCH time slot. So now how do you decide that where they will, uh, these symbols will be uh, placed and how they will basically uh, work together. In NR, uh, one of the most important thing, uh, the difference between NR and LTE is that in NR uh, you can have allocation in terms of resource elements. So, if this is a subframe, it is divided into time slots and then it is divided into resource elements. So in NR, basically you can allocate particular resource elements to a particular user and you can allocate the rest to another user. So how uh, the user will know that which time slot and how many time slots the user has been allocated that is from a thing called SLIV. So that is the start and the length indicator which is communicated to your uh, UE and via this number the UE will know that it which time slot and how many time slots the user needs to hear. So now coming back to the demodulation reference signal, there are two types of demodulation reference signal. One is type A and the other is type B. The difference between these two uh, reference uh, signal or demodulation reference signal is lies in two things. That is the resource elements and the placement. The type A uh, demodulation reference signal can either be on symbol 2 or it can be on symbol 3 of a particular time slot. So if you want uh, your UE to get a type A PDSCH DM DMRS, it can either be on slot 2 or slot 3. So if you have been uh, scheduled after slot 3 that is from slot 4 till slot uh, till the last slot, you cannot be allocated this type A. So if uh, for example, your PDS is just starting from slot 4, then of course you cannot be uh, allocated this one because only slot 2 and 3 can have this type A PDSCH DMRS. Then comes the number of resource elements. For the type A, we have only one resource element allocated to that DMRS and then for type B, we have 2 and the type B uh, DMRS always comes on the first time slot. So whatever is your uh, allocation of your PDSCH, always the first time slot for type B will be allocated for your demodulation reference signal. So <clears throat> this demodulation reference signal actually helps your UE in decoding the data and actually providing <coughs> the UE with uh, uh, the elements it requires to decode the data and to decode the channel conditions. So I hope uh, this video was helpful in understanding this one of a very uh, interesting concept in NR because in LTE it works very differently because we have a cell reference signal and in NR we have demodulation reference signal for PDSCH. Thank you for watching this video. Do subscribe and see you next time. Thank you.